Bodida lovelies. Um, so today I've got an AliExpress haul video. Um, I bought quite a few Halloweeny bits and pieces, so I'll just go through this really, really quickly with you. Um, so I got some clay mini bats, all in green and purple and orange and black, and I think that they are adorable, so I can't wait to get making shaker cards with those. Um, also shaker pumpkin slices, uh, again, same thing, wanted to make something for Halloween and I've got loads of dyes in here that could be used for shakers so I'm, I'm hoping that I'll get good use out of those. Um, these are fruits, uh, I'm obviously not Halloween themed but I'm pretty sure that I will be able to put them to good use. Um, everybody is using these clear gems at the moment and they look amazing and I really wanted to get some and so this is a, a little pouch with multiple sizes of clear gems so super excited to finally have some like that uh, and I also got clear gems in green because Halloween love them can't wait to get to use them uh, so I think if you follow my blog you'll know that I've started um, art journaling with um, Wanderlust, which I think is by Everything Art, um, and there was an entire section that was on ephemera, and I realised when I got to that section I don't have any ephemera. Um, and when I got the Archer and Olive uh, craft sketchbook I was just kind of like, oh I really want to, you know, kind of stick loads of stickers and things, um, and I still didn't have any stickers so I got these. Um, I should hopefully be able to get these out. Um, so I won't get the other pack out, but these are just, uh, you know, kind of like those of little uh, oldie worldy illustrations of herbs and plants and things, and I just think that they look gorgeous. Um, and I'm really looking forward to doing some art journaling with these. So all of these planty stickers are for art journaling purposes. And there's these ones as well. Uh, I should probably talk about these. So, um, as I said, almost everything in this haul is Halloween themed. So uh, this is a six by six paper sh paper pad of Halloween designs. I don't know if they are double sided. No, they're they're single sided, but you know, kind of good for. Halloween crafts, so I'm excited that I've got those. I'll just put those off to the side. So next is all dies. Um, this is a, what well, I would describe as a Coke can, um, Coke can die. So it makes the sides um, and then you have the, the top and the bottom and, and it's got the ring pull of the um, kind of pop can. <laughs> I don't know what, what else to call them other than coke can. Um, uh, and that could be used as a kind of storage box or pen pot or something like that. Um, this is a pumpkin and it's got thankful and thank you word dies included with it. Uh, and it's also got the jack-o'-lantern face if that's what you want or you can include uh, leaves instead and not make it into a, a jack-o'-lantern so it's got multiple options and if I just get this out if you wanted to make it into a shaker it's got this kind of um, outline die and I think if you just cut off the central sections then the whole thing would be shaker uh, so, looking forward to using that. Uh, this is a little bubbling cauldron and it has uh, lots of exciting bits and pieces in it. So it's got, it's got the cauldron itself, um, that's meant to be a stick for stirring things, um, the top of the uh, liquid and we've got bubbles if you want bubbles and a, a dead fish if you want dead fish uh, more bubbles and steam if you want it so I'm looking forward to, to making some cauldrons out of that um, and again if you cut out this bit you can make that bit a uh, shaker 
So again, why I got all of my shaker bits, because I'm excited about using that one. This one, I believe, is called Potion Bottle. And pretty much all of these are shakers. So there is the Potion Bottle base, and then the outline if you want to make it into a shaker. And there's a stopper and all sorts of things to make it into a kind of maybe a, a perfume bottle if you wanted or apothecary bottle. Either way. Now this is cute. Um, so this is a bat bag topper and I'm probably going to make loads of these for Halloween in multiple different colours including non-traditional things like uh, maybe uh, pink pastel, pink pastel purple kind of thing. Um, so obviously this bit would be the bag topper and then you have the lovely stitched detail that goes on top. And again, that doesn't necessarily have to be Halloween. It could be, you know, kind of if your child is really into um, Batman, it could be used for a, a Batman birthday party. So these two are essentially the same dye, but in different options. So there's the big bottle and the small bottle. So these are poison bottles. Um, and the mini bottle has the bottle and uh, an inner die to cut out uh, an inner section if you want to make it into a shaker. It has the uh, cork stopper, a uh, little label. Just use that label on its own. They are really, really useful to have kind of shaped labels. And then the skull and crossbones to signify that it's poison. And then the larger um, poison bottle. Exactly the same. So you've got the outer of the bottle if you include the inner die it will cut out an inner window and you can make it into a shaker. Different shaped uh, label so again a label is really really useful. You've got two bones so you can do the crossbones and you've got your skull there and the stopper so more I, I would use these more for decoration than anything else. Um, ah, so um, I got I also got a film strip and ticket strips um, die. This one again I think is going to end up being more for art journaling, things like that. Um, these are ticket dies but they can make like shaker windows if you want to but they're, they're really really diddy so you know kind of like you wouldn't be able to include much in your shaker guts. Um, but yeah so strip of tickets, um, strip of film and then little shaker dies for individual tickets. This one I'm most excited about, um, and I'll show you in a minute why I keep saying I'm excited and I'm going to make things. Um, so these are slimline size drips. Um, so I can make some slimline Halloween cards. Um, I suspect you could probably use them uh, with red card and make a kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, vampire type card say your friend is really into um, Twilight or something like that you can make them a vampire card with that um, I would probably more likely use it with green to make green goo I've been desperately looking for a green goo drip dye so so excited that I finally have something like that this is a boo bag topper again I've made something with this um, but I gave it away so I can't show it to you um, but I die cut this out of black card and this out of the green um, that I made the uh, hydrangea card I don't know if you saw that video I made a, a honeybee hydrangea card and I used my distress oxide sprays and I sprayed some watercolour card with bundled sage, old paper and rustic wilderness, so all of the greens and I just die cut that boo from green um, 
I am so, and I put some sequins in it as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to making hundreds of these bag toppers for a Halloween party. Even if it's not my party, you know, maybe a kid's party. I don't, I don't care. I love it. This is a cauldron die. Again, like the poison bottles, there's the large and the small. So these two dies are for the large and these two dies are for the small. Here's one I made earlier. So this is the large size. Uh, so it was using this die. Um, and I have sprayed it with Distressed Micotain Stain Empty Tomb. Um, so it's got a kind of pewter colour to it. So it was originally just plain black. I don't know if you can see that that's plain black. Um, and then when I sprayed it with the mica stain, it's all shiny and pretty. Um, love, love these mica stains. Cannot wait to play with them a load more. Um, so I've die cut enough of these sections to make another one so I can show you how to make it on screen. Um, and that's going to be the second half of this video. Um, but yeah, so just awesome cauldron. Uh, this is not part of the die set, it's just something that I added on because I wanted to have like a little handle. Um, and you can decorate these however you want. If you want to um, get, say, the boo and stick that on, if you wanted to get the pumpkin and stick that on, um, or if you want to decorate it with florals, make it slightly more feminine, you know, kind of like whatever floats your boat. Um, this one I'm probably going to stick some florals on. Uh, but I die cut all of these bits and pieces for the cauldron and this happened to my die cutting plate. So my plate has well and truly cracked. It has a massive hole in it now. Um, just it's, it's got these cracks running this way, it's got cracks running that way. It's um, it's very 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 unhappy and you can see it's, it's really 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 warped. Um, so yeah, I have ordered fresh plates, but they haven't arrived from Crafter's Companion yet. So um, I can't die cut much more. I'm not trusting running this through um, um, my Gemini because it, because it's so high powered and it produces so much pressure. I'm really worried about running that through and, you know, kind of it flying off and causing an injury to either me or the cats. So I'm not die cutting anymore. <laughs> not for a while, not until my new plates arrive. Thankfully, um, I have got enough sections for the cauldron. Um, so if we look at the base, we can see that it's seven sided. So we need seven of these. Um, I used two of the base section so that the inside, I know that you can't see that very well. I'm just going to move my light and see if that improves the situation. Um, you can see inside, I've got the nice side facing up because it's got all of the tabs and things and then I've got another nice one on the bottom as well just to um, kind of get it, give it a finished look. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is fold all of these tabs in. So I'm going to put this on fast forward because uh, you really don't want to see me doing this seven times over. Oh, packaging everywhere. So I will put this on fast forward and join you again when I start gluing all of the tabs together. So I've scored all of these and now I'm going to start constructing and so I'll be adding glue to all of these tabs 
and going around and as you as you glue them all because of the the way that they're angled it will start to generate the shape of the cauldron um, and again I'm going to fast forward through this because uh, it will get painful and tedious after a very very short period of time. Um, I will be using um, reverse tweezers to hold uh, all of the tabs in place for a short period of time just to make sure that they stick and then move on to the next tab. 